amount of gold stocks have risen since Goldfields announced its plans to acquire the Canadian company in an all-stock transaction worth $6.7 billion. According to the business's official statement, the Amana Goldfield deal aims to maximize future growth potential and shareholder returns for the combined entity. This latest tie-up has triggered talks among investors about more such consolidations in the gold industry. So it could be good to watch some of the major TSX gold players. Let's take a look. Barrick Gold Corporation Barrick Gold produced over 990,000 gold ounces for the first three months of 2022. The large cap gold producer realized over 1,876 US dollars per ounce. Barrick recorded a net profit of 438 million in the latest quarter as well and raised its quarterly dividend to 0.20 cents a share, underpinned by a strong cash position. ABX stock spiked by almost 8% so far this year, and its RSI it stands at 35.13 as of May 31, which is marginally above the oversold position of 30. Next, Franco Nevada Corp. Franco Nevada is a diversified company engaged in mining precious metals and other resources, including iron ore, oil and natural gas. It has operations across South America, Central America, Mexico, the US, Canada and more. The $34 billion market cap gold company has zero debt as of the 31st of March. Franco Nevada declared a quarterly dividend of 0.32 cents US payable on June 30. Its revenue jumped as well by 10% and its net profit expanded by 6% in the first quarter. FNB stock zoomed up by over 2% in 2022. Now that you're up to speed, give us a sub and hit that bell icon to boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Calcite Media.